Hey everyone, welcome to What the Flick. Uh, we're all back! Yay! Sorry we're, about last week. Alonzo and I were at Sundance and uh, Francis can't be trusted. You know. But that it, <laughs> he forgot. I believe he, it. he forgot Aobard Thon was a character. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so thank you, Johnny Jungle Guts, for coming in. Yes. Uh, episode uh, 11 from season two, The Reverse Flash Returns. This is the episode in which The Reverse Flash Returns. It is. <laughs> it's also the episode in which Vibe gets the cool glasses. Oh my God. When I realized awesome. that's what they were doing, he's getting his Vibe glasses. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is so dumb, but I love every second of it. It was so cool. Now, I, I, I do have a, a, a point of order question. Do we think that by Felicia exists on all Earths the way that Christmas <laughs> and Einstein do? I would assume so, but I, I would hope so. Here's my theory. I think like that maybe in like Earth 2, like Friday was like, it actually was like Easy E was in that movie or uh, something. Like that's something that just a, something a slight difference or something, yeah. you know? I hope that when we're talking about this, that Tinder should exist on Earth 1 because Caitlin just has the worst luck of oh, guys man. ever. What is going on with her, man? Uh. She needs to just. Move away from the superhero realm and just date a normal guy. I, yeah, find an accountant. Because yeah, otherwise something. she's just going to be widowed of the stars. You know, it's, <laughs> it's depressing. It's, it's yeah. brutal. It's brutal. I want to start off by talking about, I, I, I loved... Uh, I love every time Barry is dating someone who isn't the person he's obviously going to marry. He's yes. always got really great chemistry, right. whether it's Felicity or whether it's Patty. And um, they're taking Patty off of the show, at least for now. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, I have to go... Uh, to you know another city, uh, and that'd be a long distance relationship, and there's no way we could make that work. <laughs> You're no, the, the Flash. <laughs> like that's what he's like. Oh, she's moving. I can't tell her on the Flash. You could be there in a minute. <laughs> it is the that's not Literally. even Literally. that's not even a long like a long distance relationship for you. You dink. You run like, around the, the planet. This yeah. is it plays like he's just desperate for an excuse to break up with. Every her. time mm. we do this, you I, you amaze me how you think about this stuff. Like that I know what he's going about. And I'm like that is so true. And, and then at the end, that. they had that moment on the train mm. where she he he has to acknowledge that he's the Flash. And, but look at everyone else on that train. They could not care less. Oh, yeah. The flash yeah. Yeah. There's people like reading uh, a magazine. Huh. Like 30 <laughs> seconds later, I'm like, that's at least interesting. Look yeah. up. <laughs> Don't finish your Sudoku puzzle. It'll be there. The flash yeah. is gonna leave. There's more there are more trains on this show than in like the entire Atlas Shrugged <laughs> trilogy. Like no one takes a plane on this show. It's there's some damn train that goes to Coast City and Midland City and all these other, you know, oh, ridiculous d fictional DC locales. Um so you know, I, I again, I just want to watch Cisco bother uh, uh, Harrison Wells. Harrison Wells. Wells. That's, all, that's all I want. That's all I want. King of one line Coffee of. slurping and yeah, whatever it, so it takes. Great. Uh, the ugh. moment when Harrison Wells says, "Meet me in the time closet," I'm like. <laughs> This is getting Ooh. naughty. What the hell? And then he's like role playing in there with like his sexy yeah, leather suit. Costume. And I'm like, oh my yeah. god, this is someone's been reading my dream journal. Oh my. The, the time Flash fiction just started getting written faster and faster <laughs> as the episode progressed. The time in a Cisco's one liners never fail to amaze me. Like just as soon as he says. Are you telling me I can see the future? And he's like, I'm going to have to turn this up a notch. Like, yeah. straight away. Straight <laughs> i got to name these, these goggles. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, the idea that he can see the future is definitely a cool twist here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I assume that's what Comics Vibe could do. I don't know. I'm trying to remember if that was a thing. They're obviously doing a very different thing. Because I remember Vibe being able to actually, like, vibrate things. And, right, like, right. Yeah, you know, yeah. in a sort of a tremors -y kind of way. Maybe or, we'll get there. I don't know. Richter, funny, that's Here's the thing. I, yesterday I watched the last two episodes of The Flash and D DC's The Legends of Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So they're all kind of blood I remember yeah. what's what. Uh, one thing that is a carryover here is that uh, Gideon, mm -hmm. who is a char who is a character in in Legends of Tomorrow, she's yep. running the ship for Rip Hunter, is also somehow now under Eobard Thawne's control, oh. yes. uh, guiding him through guiding him through time. And as it, well. it raises the it raises the question of which one comes first. They they have to deal with a with a paradox in this yes. particular episode where Eobard Thawne, before he becomes Harrison Wells, shows up after Harrison Harrison Wells yes. died, right, uh, and they're. The whole thing is, eh. Like, <laughs> he shouldn't exist, but if they, if he didn't exist, then he would exist. So we're just going to say, we, we know, it. We, we know so, he dies eventually, so. Eh. Yeah, can, it, it can, doesn't can, make sense on paper. We, but nothing, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Can, you, can you clear up for me? Because the reason why I didn't, re I didn't realize not. it was Eobard <laughs> Eobar Thorne is because I thought it was going to be Eddie coming in from Earth 2 who was going to be oh, the reverse Flash. Face. I know, but no, I'm, before I seen him. I thought when he, when he came into the episode, because I looked ahead and saw I the I thought next he was going to be the Earth 2 Eobard That's what I thought. Too. Okay. So, I'm so I was confused as to 
Like, did he just suddenly find himself in this paradox? Did he just run and realize well, he's there? Well, it's basically, you know, he's from the future. He lives out his entire life in the future, mm -hmm. and then he comes back in time and becomes Harrison Wells. At some point in the future, before he became Harrison Wells, he also went back in time to find out that Barry Allen was the Flash. So he, and he didn't even do that this time, so he's going to have to come back again and uh -huh. again. So they've got this villain that they've already defeated in this apocalyptic manner who hasn't been defeated yet. It's confusing, and I love it. Speaking of which, we were introduced to Hunter Zolomon in this episode. Explain. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Hunter Zolomon is the character who, in the comics, is Zoom. Oh. Uh, Hunter Zolomon is was a character. Oh, he his was name a, changed. Got Hunter Zolomon, who's the apparently Earth One version of, of Jay Garrick, mm -hmm. uh, was a character who was a cop uh, with uh, Wally West, actually, Wally West. Oh. and he became obsessed with the idea that in order to make the Flash a better hero, he must experience tragedy. Oh, so he oh. ended up trying to destroy the Flash's life in order to make the Flash better, which is an idea that they kind of toyed with in the first season with Harrison Wells. I don't know if they're going to go in that same direction, yeah. uh, but he's actually one of my favorite Flash villains. I love that guy. He's, he's also awesome. he's also an Adele fan, as it turns out. Good times. So you know, <laughs> the, the, her best work comes after somebody dumps her. You know, Good. <laughs> all right, this is the wrong <laughs> wrong room for this joke. I okay, I get it. I all get it. right, and anyway, anyway, she's but, um, with her voice. Oh, uh, the t now our TV Wally West. I yes. really. I hope we don't get any more drag racing scenes because, frankly, oh, this show cannot afford monetarily to be the Fast and the Furious. Like it, if it's going to be, you know, on a TV budget, you cannot do decent drag races. And so I just let's let's not. Well, keep me going me there. and Johnny were well, well, juggling around with these things um, about what what we're going to see with Wally West in this season. Like what? What? I mean, I Wally West is a superhero that I grew up. Yeah, like he, 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 he was your Flash. Flash. He was my Flash, and he yeah. was Kid Flash, and all that sort of thing. So, how do we see him evolving in this season? Do you in in this TV series? Do you think you see him becoming Kid Flash? Do you see him kind of taking a different role? I'd be surprised if he becomes Kid Flash before like the season finale. Yeah, and even then, maybe not yet. They mm -hmm. still have to introduce him. They still have to ingratiate him. They still have to give him powers. Um, maybe he'll be static. Shot. But what about this? <laughs> <laughs> but it could do the same thing they did with um, Bird Lady. Don't know uh, her name, but the girl, way she, girl. Hawk Girl, the way they just yeah, kind of threw they, her into it. Hawk Girl, they threw her into it because they needed her in Legends of Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Wally West is going to be a Flash character. He's not necessarily just going to jump into a, another and, show. And the premise for her is that she was, she's always been Hawk Girl. She just she didn't just know never it. Realized it. Right. Whereas you have to actually make somebody kid Flash. Like, right. You have, and, to re, you have to recreate the, the, the well, well, in the comics, in case, you have to recreate the circumstances. But he might have been good, affected but, without right, him knowing. They have all kinds of things that they could do with this. They're coming up with ways to steal people's speed. They've got a drug that gives you speed. True. Which, here's something that bothers me. Like, Jake Harris like, oh, yeah, without my speed, I'm going to die. You literally have a drug for that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why we take drugs. That's the good reason for drugs, is that they make you not sick. They, Take the drug and see if it, at least try it. Maybe it won't work, but maybe it'll work. I haven't had a chance to watch your recap yet because I only just finally watched the episode. Mm -hmm. Did you guys talk about the fact that the Turtle Man was the first villain that Barry first Allen ever faced? Yeah. First the Turtle. Yeah. In, in the comics. Oh, in the comic books. Yeah. No, we just oh, talked okay. about how he's... Yeah. Yeah. In the very first Barry Allen Flash adventure, the Turtle Man is, his, yeah. is the villain. And the idea was that the Turtle was so slow, the Flash couldn't see him. It was really dumb. Yeah, I really remember written. thinking to myself, the turtle, how are they going to make it work? They came up with a great way to make the turtle work. Yes. The turtle was a great villain. Yeah. So, I just want to add my two cents in because we've moved past it. But so, yeah. so let me get this straight then, just because I'm slow sometimes. So, Har it. so Harrison Wells would rather <sighs> capitulate to Zoom to get mm -hmm. his daughter back even if there's a decent chance of stopping him by using the turtle's powers. So that's why he kills the turtle? Um, it's possible. Here's the thing. What I like, he's do so concerned about the daughter that he's just gonna like undercut everything that the Star Labs folks are gonna do. Potentially, here's the one thing I know for certain about this new Harrison Wells, who, since he has come back, is still a bit of an enigma. Mm -hmm. um, we never got to know him the way we got to know Abarth Thawne as Harrison Wells. Uh, I wouldn't put anything past him. Yeah. Mm. He will do whatever he needs to do to get what he wants. Right. Uh, and if that means doing the right thing, awesome. If that means doing the wrong thing, he'll do it. Yeah. Uh, and that's an interesting character trait, and that makes him very unpredictable. So ultimately, that could go in any direction, and I could potentially be satisfied. Yeah, and that's what we talked about in our previous review, is that I, I mean, I... We consistently are reiterating him as the, the last season's Harrison Wells, just as mischievous, even though that wasn't Harrison Wells, but never, as you mentioned, been really introduced to who that character is. Right. Nonetheless, I, I don't go and, and see him in a, in a negative light because of what he's trying to ob obtain. Like he has been, he's got a motive that's just as strong as Barry's motives 
in the last season about trying to find out about his mother. So there's nothing really that he will not do. So I, in my point of view, is that this is what makes Zoom such a good villain is that he installs fear in everyone around them. Everyone mm. is, he, Harrison Wells is the one that's continuously pushing. And what I proposed to Johnny in the last review is it seems like the Flash in the last episode and somewhat in this one is kind of deflecting away. Like he's, mm. he doesn't want to directly face the fact that Zoom is still out there. It seems like, and I don't think that that's a bad thing that in every episode Harrison right. Wells is trying to push them further mm. because they are all in their own way afraid to try and face Zoom. I like that, and I think it's a good point. I think it's interesting to see a villain who inspires this much fear mm-hmm. and anxiety in everyone because it makes everyone make dumb choices or it makes everyone make knee-jerk choices based not on logic or not on what they, you know, everyone at home is watching this. I'm like, just tell the Flash team and you'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what's going to happen eventually. You right. should tell them now and get it over with. But when you're actually that's in... That's how TV drama works. <laughs> that's how TV drama works. That's how real-life <laughs> drama works. If you think about it, every single one of us, every single day, makes some decision that isn't necessarily in our best interest out of uh, fear, out of deflection, out of avoid, avoiding <laughs> avoiding conflict, yeah. something. And it, watching it from a third person perspective in an audience, we would go, well, just tell her you love her, man. Yeah. And you don't. It's it's We can talk ourselves into things. And that's hard to dramatize sometimes because, again, out from the outside, we're like, fucking tell Patty. <laughs> well, her. Uh-huh. One last thing I want to say about Patty is that I do admire when, the, the, in this sort of modern wave of superhero stuff, that smart people figure out but secret that's identities. That's what I was going to That's write. what I liked about Lois Lane and Man of Steel. Same here. Things in that movie. Yeah. Like, yes, she's not a dummy. She's it's an like investigative f- journalist. It's the first thing she does yeah. she'll figure, out, figure who it out you know? And she figures yeah. it out and she's still mad at herself for not figuring it out sooner. She's yeah. like, I'm a detective. You should have known. But that's what I was going to say. It was, it was actually refreshing to see someone figure out who he was right. without actually him having to go. Well, they always talk about like, oh, should I tell her? I'm like, literally yeah. everyone else you know knows. Yeah. What, 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 the about, hell? what about Patty makes you think she's not trustworthy? She's the one you're sleeping with. Well, that, <laughs> and, and or that she's more uh, at risk of being snatched up by Zoom than Caitlyn. She, than anyone. You know? and she had the she's most cop, hot, at least most yeah. heartbreaking yeah. line. It was so sweet. I, we could yeah. just fight crime during the day and then just be with each other at night. And he had to go and ruin <laughs> that sweet? dream. What a day. Yeah, they, I picture that she's crime fighting at night. She's going to see high school. Run to that other city, help her with her homework, have sexy jam sessions, and then go home because you're the Flash. You ran to China recently yeah, and gave- in like a few minutes. You're fine. You can break this fucking speed of light and go back in time. Long distance relationships don't exist this- for you. And it gave us the perfect opportunity. I was just seeing that scene play out when he, when she was begging him to tell her and he just didn't tell and I was expecting him. Boom. Just whiz his way in front of her and then bang, she knows. Romance apart, uh, uh, will happen, and that's how it goes. <sighs> uh, you know, and again, do we think maybe at the, at the under all this is that he he knows that he's supposed to marry Iris, I, ba- just based on the future newspapers, if nothing else. Every <laughs> it's like it's like on Friends. Every time like Ross and Rachel dated anyone else, it was like, oh, this yeah, might be fun for happen. an episode or two. But you know, it's just like the show's gonna end one way. Right. Yeah. There's one way the show ends, so you don't care. Like <laughs> after a while, it's just like we're just jerking us around. <laughs> And that's fine, but like after you know, we're we're onto it now. Right. It's a trope that doesn't work as well as it yeah. used to. Who will be Barry's next love interest? Maybe Ooh. we'll find out next week.